Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. As you guys saw by the title, we'll be doing a drugstore fall makeup routine. So I think I did a uh, regular like, just fall makeup, playing with some new fall makeup, that's what it was. Um, and we were chilling, we were hanging out, but I was like, you know what, this would be fun if I did a drugstore fall makeup routine. So these are all drugstore products. These are very affordable. Um, drugstore products <laughs> first if you guys like this video definitely give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button without further ado let's just get started <laughs> i was like what am i saying right now i don't know i don't know so for some categories we have like multiple options but for other stuff it's just like a non-negotiable for me i'm like this is what i use in the fall and it just happens so happens like that i'll explain as they come um so we're just going to jump right in because I don't want this video to be too, too long. Um, first, we're going to go on with the Essence Hydro Hero Primer. I've used this for so long. I used it since they came out with the this one, um, but they used to have a different one that was just the Essence like Hydrating Primer. Essentially the same thing. That one was the, I think it was Hydrating and Smoothing Primer. This one's more so just hydration. But honestly, that's all I'm looking for during the summer is hydration. I'm sorry, during the winter during the fall, <laughs> during the cooler months. I'm just, I'm needing that hydration. I did notice too today, I was a little bit like oily on my chin and I was like, what's going on there? But I was like, either way, I go for hydration. I know oily skin people love hydration too. Like they, their skin needs it. Um, and so always the hydration. And this is like freaking $5. It is the best primer and it's so affordable. So good. You can just see it just adds this like, um, almost moisturizing moisturizer looking kind of base um but it's gonna prep the skin for foundation and then what the heck was the other thing i was gonna say oh you can see it's not glowy or anything like that um but it is hydrating anyway for foundation we have two options um i go back and forth today i really want to use the l'oreal even though i used it in another video this week um but i just really want to use it and the way it looked on my skin yesterday is so good but i go for either one during these like um more winter months it just depends on your skin type how you like the finish of your makeup to look and then which one you prefer which one you have i should say so the revlon skin caring foundation is illuminating so it's the illuminant skin caring foundation it has like little pearlized finish if you have the makeup the by mario foundation this one's very similar they're dupes i feel like <laughs> um they're very very similar and so they're very comparable i should say um so it's the same kind of vibe where it just has this little bit of like radiance illuminance to it um that adds to the foundation the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. You guys know I've talked about this for so, so, so long. It's been my favorite for a while. It's held the crown for a while. Um, and this one is a natural finish, which I like um, and I'm going to put on right today. Um, I just like when... So it just depends on the day. Sometimes I like that natural radiance um, and then sometimes I like the natural finish. It just depends on your preferences. Um, I go back and forth. I feel like these are basically like the same foundation, except one is illuminating and the other one's a natural finish. I feel like they both have a nice like medium coverage. Um, they're barely, they, they're so lightweight. You barely feel it on your face. Not barely. You don't feel it on your face. It doesn't even feel like you're wearing makeup. I feel like they both can be worn as like, um, almost like a tinted moisturizer in a sense if you put less um coverage or less you know foundation less product it just ends up being so lightweight and like the natural um you know not blemishes but like you know your uh, freckles or like those kind of things peek through <laughs> the things you want to kind of breathe are breathing um and so i feel like they both could be worn in just so many different ways if you add more you're adding coverage like it's just so versatile i'm like come on and they're both drugstore i'm like these are the best drug i mean the best foundations and i'm like i don't even need to like specify that they're drugstore they're just the best foundations you know what i mean they're so good so it just depends on which one you like if you want to try both or have both, I like having both because, again, it just depends on the day. But my skin just ends up looking so flawless and, like, mm, perfected. But it's super, super blendable and just super breathable, I should say. Um, enough said. So freaking bomb. So it just depends on what you're looking for. Next, for concealer, we're going with the AOA Locked Creamy Concealer. AOA Studio Locked Creamy Concealer. Now, you can only get this at shopmissae.com, which is kind of annoying, but it's only $2. It's $1.88, so you can buy, like, three or four shades for the price of, like, one other concealer. So I think it's so worth it. 
and I think everyone will love this concealer. I mean, I'm sure plenty, I mean, I'd hope that plenty of you have tried this concealer because I've been talking about it for so long now and it's like my number one concealer. Um, and again, there's no stipulation to that. It's just like my number one concealer. It's not even like for the drugstore. It's like my number one concealer. I do have other like, I have high end favorites, but I'm like, I could be okay wearing this for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, but what the heck was the other thing I was gonna say? Oh, I was gonna say I literally have no other drugstore concealer. Um, because like, honestly, none of them have beat this one at all. And so I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna use any other one but this one. So why am I gonna hold on to all these other concealers, you know? <laughs> As far as the drugstore ones, I should say. I do have some other high ends, but like this concealer is so good. It is super, super creamy. Um, but you can see, I feel like it doesn't look overly creamy. Um, I'm gonna just add a little bit more on some of these spots on my face. I don't feel like it's overly creamy or like overly hydrating. I feel like it's just the perfect amount. Um, and I feel like it just blends like a dream, especially if you're someone who like, you know, you, I mean, if you use any tool, um, they just blends like a dream. I love it with a brush. I think it ends up looking so pretty, so flawless. Your under eyes look airbrushed. That doesn't add any creases or like, you know, it doesn't accentuate anything you don't want it to. And I just feel like all around, it's just like the perfect concealer. It blends so beautifully with like every foundation I wear it with. I just can't get enough. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. So freaking bomb. And you would think like for me, um, this setting powder, let me grab it, hold on. Um, this powder actually is a little bit like, sometimes I feel like it can be too much. This is the NYX HD Finishing Powder um, in the shade Translucent. I felt like with certain concealers, certain foundations, this could, powder could be too much. But with this combo right here, this is the perfect powder because it's not too much. <laughs> I just, say it like that. Um, I feel like it just is the softest matte powder that like really just... Um, sets your face without drying it out in any way shape or form but it leaves us you can just see the difference it just looks a little bit more airbrushed a little bit more flawless um and i just love the vibe of that especially um and i love this powder so much especially in the fall because it doesn't dry out your skin too too much like it doesn't dry your skin i should say it doesn't make it look dry or crepey or anything like that it kind of sets it where it is and it works so beautifully with foundations it works so beautifully when you get your setting spray on like it just works with everything so beautifully and I love, love, love this powder. I mean, and concealers as well. So this powder is so good. And I was like, I should just wear use another. Like, I usually typically use loose powder under the eye and then a pressed powder all over the face. Um, but, like, I've just been reaching for this one over and over and over again. Honestly, I want to do a video on, like, my everyday makeup routine because it's, like, five steps, five products, genuinely. And that's all I do, like, every day. But, like, this powder is what I wear every day. I just dip a big, giant, fluffy brush in there and put it all over. We are going to go with creams today, so that's why I didn't do that yet. But it's coming. It's a coming. Let's go with some creams. So, uh, for today, we're going to go with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Contour Wand, whatever. I have the shade um, Medium Tan. I honestly like any contour kind of wandish. Um... Any of these are good. I really like this e.l.f. one. And I feel like people recently, I've been watching some declutters recently and people like get rid of this or they're like, it's kind of okay. It's so good. And so I'm like, honestly, I need to just use it. I'm just going to use the same breath. Um, I'm like, honestly, let's just use it because it is honestly incredible. It blends like a dream. And I love this color, this shade. Again, yeah, it's medium tan um, for my skin tone because I feel like it does have a little bit of contour-esque to it. Like the slightest like contour undertone where I feel like it really does carve out the cheekbone a little bit. Um, but it's not like gray. <laughs> you know, it's not like this terrifying contour color. I feel like it's the perfect color for my skin tone, I should say. Um, because, you know, everyone's skin tone is different and I know they don't have that that many shades. I know they release more shades of something. I don't know if they release more shades of this contour. Um, whether there's bronzer, but of something they release more of. Um, I just think it ends up looking so freaking pretty. <sighs> My phone is making me mad. I just think it's the prettiest color. I think it just ends up looking so, so, so flawless, and I'm obsessed. So, yes, it's. I feel like it's blendable. It's easy to use. It's almost foolproof. I think if you get the shade medium tan and you're lighter than me, it could go, like, a little bit crazy. But, like, if you're around my skin tone a little bit deeper, um, it will work pretty, pretty well for you. I think yesterday I was doing my makeup, and I put this on, and I put too much, too many dots, and then I was like, whoa, madness. But, um... Once you blend it out, it's stunning. So it just depends. I, there are plenty of drugstore like cream contours that I feel like you and you can't go wrong with any of them. There's nothing special about the Elf one, I should say, that I feel like oh my gosh, yes, like it's the best cream bronzer ever. No, but like I just feel like it's a good one 
that I was gonna use. <laughs> um, and then we have the Essence Baby Girl Blush. It's the just the little cream blush in the shade Rose All Day. This is so freaking cute. Um, I realized though, I feel like <laughs> in my head, I love like a good terracotta, like mm, delicious kind of blush. But I feel like um, in practicality, I always seem to like declutter them. Um, or I always have like only one or two on hand. And I feel like right now I don't have any drugstore ones. Um, so today we're going to go with like the rosy kind of look, which I feel like honestly... <laughs> I feel like I end up wearing it anyway because I think it's just so pretty. Um, so it just depends on your preferences, your day, the day, the shade that you have. Um, I really like these little cream blushes. They are so freaking good and they smell like watermelon, which I think is what always sets sets me over. I'm like, yes. I take like these if you're having trouble with your cream bronzer, cream blush, or like um, your cream product. For this one that gives me trouble sometimes, I like to take my brush and then I stamp it on the back of my hand. I know some people do that like just with every single cream blush. I normally don't have to. I feel like with this one specifically, I like to just to make sure it's going on evenly and looking beautifully, which it's doing right now. Stone it. Obsessed. I think it has a little bit of luminosity that just looks so pretty on the face um, and just adds this like supple, juicy look um, that I love. I love, love, love. I love when the juice is right here and then the rest of my face is kind of this natural finish. Ugh, so cute. So freaking cute. Okay, let me actually set with the rest of this powder. So again, we're going to take the NYX powder. We're going to put that sucker all over my face. I just washed my brushes and so they're all like super cute. They're all super clean. Okay, this one's a little bit wet actually. Front, not we got the same brush in two different colors. <laughs> um, let's go in with the blue one. You can just see like the difference here. You can see the little like reflection here. It's not as, as prominent over here, but you could see it a little bit. I feel like with some setting spray, it just brings this natural, it brings it back to the surface, back to the front naturally. And I love that. I mean, it does look pretty natural over here, but I feel like, um, you know, sometimes I'm like for, for fall, I'm like, okay, let's turn it down a little bit. Let's control it. I should say, let's control it. Let's not let it go wild. And I just... Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. I feel like my skin, it does look matte, but if you're dry, and I know like if you're a dry skin girl, that sounds terrifying and that always terrified me. But I feel like there's a difference. I mean, there's not, it, there's nothing to fear in matte if you do matte right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, and so I feel like right now, um, it just looks smooth and even. It's verging on a little dry, but trust the process, please. Don't freak out. Don't freak out yet. Okay, let's go in with some of our powders. Um, let's go in with the ColourPop Silver Strand Beach Bronzer. I love this bronzer so much. I think the tone is what really does it for me because it is just such a pretty tone. I don't even know what brush to use. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, uh, <laughs> I feel like it's just such a pretty tone. You can see it's like kind of light almost, but it has this sort of depth to it. I don't know, like it just ends up, look at that. <laughs> like it looks like it's gonna be nothing but it ends up just bring, being the um prettiest kind of like bronze I don't know it like brings the color back into the face you can see but it's not like over the top like it's not super like sun-kissed vibes it's very natural it looks like you got like if you have like you know your tan is fading but like it's you're still a tan person <laughs> That's what it looks like to me, at least in my opinion. Like it doesn't look like, you know, you got a fake tan or anything like that. It looks like a tan in the fall. You know what I mean? Like it just looks, I don't know, very pretty, very natural. I love this color and I love this formula because it is so baby smooth and it is just stunning. So stunning. We're going to go with this blush. This is the Essence Rosy Rose. It's the Pure Nude Baked Blush in the shade Rosy Rosewood. They have plenty of different shades. Um, you can get whatever shade you want. <laughs> Obviously, you can get whatever shade you want. Um, but I feel like all oh, this, the formula of this is so incredible that I'm sure any shade will look stunning. I think what's nice about these is that they have more of a like satinish finish where it's a little bit, it's not plainly matte, I should say. There's a little bit of, um, of, of depth to them um but you can see it ends up looking essentially like a soft matte kind of color like it's not just going to be this freaking highlighter thing i hate those like you know those blush lighter i don't know i just hate when it looks too highlighter i feel like this just looks very beautiful very natural you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying it's a vibe i love that formula 
Okay, now the one we've all been waiting for, setting spray. I've been waiting for this, I should say. I love this step <laughs> because it really melts all those powders together and just gives the, this is what pulls the whole look together is setting spray. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. I feel like any hydrating setting spray will do perfectly. Um, I typically don't go for like glowy or anything like that in the um, fall ask. Sometimes, you know, I'm like, oh crap, I gotta use this setting spray. <laughs> but other times, for the most part, I'm using something like this that's just really meant to, like the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist or like um, the She Glam setting spray that I love. Like just the ones that really melt the powders together and just create this beautiful hydration. <laughs> I could spray that forever. I need to stop, but I could. Okay, let's go with some brows. I honestly right now have no brow gel from the drugstore. Like, who am I? I don't know. Um, I honestly just did a giant declutter, and um, the few that I had were just old, or like, yeah, it was time to go. Um, I honestly think brow gel is, uh, like, you really can't go wrong with any brow gel. If I'm being honest, I just gotta go, like, pick one up from the drugstore. Um, and use it when I do videos like this but for now we're going in with the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil I don't know if I said that this has been a cult classic forever I've this is I've repurchased it like it's just such a good drugstore brow pencil for so inexpensive I just I love it so much and then we're gonna go with the ColourPop Feather Effect Brow Pen I feel like these are just so good as well to add those fake hairs that kind of you know, it just adds to the vibe, I should say. It adds this more natural kind of feather effect brow. And I just love the way it ends up. Yeah, love the way it turns out. And I just always um, gravitate toward the brow, this ColourPop brow pen if I want a brow pen. Because it's just so natural. And it leaves like the prettiest, most natural strokes. I'm just going to lightly spoolie. Oh, I forgot highlighter. <laughs> okay, I want to talk about this one because I think I'm going to use this one, but I'll give you both options. I just got this in my Ipsy bag if you have not seen that video. Um, I'm sure it's up already. But this I got in my Ipsy and I freaking fell in love. It's the Luna Magic Powder Highlighter in the shade Tulum, whatever. Love this so freaking much. I was going to use the Revlon Skin Life Prismatic Highlighter just because it's like one of the two drugstore highlighters I have. And I love this. I think it's so stunning if you want something a little bit more blinding. But I feel like I don't always gravitate towards that. And so I was like, um, I was going to show you it kind of either way. But I was like, um, when I used this, I was like, oh, wait, no, this is like perfect. This is going to be what I wear all fall. Um, I just think this highlighter is such a natural such a natural like glow from within that just looks so stunning i think the color is perfect for my skin tone for a lot of skin tones because it's a little bit like it's like the perfect combo <laughs> of icy and gold you could see it looks golder but it's a little bit like icier in 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 shade um, and so I feel like it adds to like those high points you know those little bit glowier points but also it's not super like overwhelming and so last time I just kind of put my um foundation brush over it and I just ended up looking so stunning because it's just such a pretty it looks like straight on it looks just like naturally glowing it's nothing like crazy and then like when you like hit the light it's like so stunning oh my gosh it's so pretty I'm gonna swatch it for you it is just the prettiest I'm obsessed and so I was like I need to tell them about this today and this is only like eight dollars I think the full size is this is like a deluxe sample from Ipsy but I think the eight full size is like eight dollars um you can get it at Target I, I looked online I said Target Walmart um and then lunamagic.com I think they said CVS as well like you could get it at pretty a few quite a few drugstores and so I might do like a Luna Magic video because I'm kind of obsessed with this highlighter I think it is so stunning and I can't get enough I genuinely can't get enough so um had to use it the other one again was the revlon which again is nice it is just a little bit more blinding you could see so um 
I know a lot of people have talked about this and loved about this, loved this for a long time too. So it's not anything, you know, that new. Okay, next we're gonna do eyeshadow. I can't decide what I wanna do. Um, of course we have my ColourPop Harry Potter palette. It's my favorite fall palette. It's my favorite palette of life, but like for fall specifically, I just love it. But I also have the Alter Ego Sahara palette, which is just so stunning. It's a dupe for some Natasha Nona palette. I don't really know, but it's mostly mattes and a few shimmers. And I love this palette so much. I finally decluttered some of my Alter Ego palettes. So now I can like look at them and not feel overwhelmed. I'm getting hot in here. Um, and so I love those tones too. I just don't know what I want to play with today. I feel like I want to recreate the look I did yesterday. So that would have been Monday's video. Um, and I'm going to show you, I guess, what I did. Zoom in. I only used the Alter Ego Sahara palette. Um, but what I started off, I think I used, yeah, um, you know, some of these just, you know, neutral mattes. I think I used this one, maybe a little bit of that one. Like, I just mixed them and popped them in the crease and just started building up slowly. So, see, these colors are so beautiful. The mattes are blendable. They're smooth. They're creamy. And Alter Ego is so affordable, um, which I freaking love. <laughs> Let me know, would you want to see this video in a drugs, I mean, in a high-end version? Like, you know, uh, fall makeup, but only using high-end makeup? Because, like, I want to use the, uh, uh the Natasha Nona Yucca palette. Yucca, whatever, Yucca, whatever you want to call it. And, um, but sometimes it's hard, because I'm like, I want to recommend these, um, for you guys, you know what I mean? Like, I want to recommend drugstore products to you guys, but, like, it gets hard because I'm like, I want to use that one. I digress. Okay, then I went in with the shade Raven, which is just this, like, lighter brown shade, and I kind of built that up on the outer corner. And just, ugh, so delicious. Kind of moved it in, moved it around, <laughs> we blended, and we chilled. I just love this look so much. I just love this palette so much and I'm so glad that I can use the products that I have without feeling like overwhelmed. <laughs> you don't realize how much like, you know, um, you don't realize how like overwhelming it is to have so much makeup because you see so many people with so much makeup and I'm like, do they not feel guilty that they're not using like this eyeshadow palette that they bought? Whatever. I'm like, do they not care? I'm, I'm sure they don't care. Whatever. Um, but then I like I feel guilty and I'm like what the heck so like once I finally declutter and I'm like hey I'm selling a lot of my stuff on Mercari if you want to check it out. It's always down below but like um, I I'm like someone could get more use out of this than I do I don't need it and so I'm like sometimes you, you do fall into the buying 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 and then you'd like review it once and then never touch it again Which is so easy to fall into that or like even just in your everyday like you buy it just to have it You know have the collector like just in case you want to wear that color that day that color scheme that day what is on my lip? Uh, anyway, um, whatever. So I finally decluttered and I was just very happy with, I'm so happy with my collection. Now I don't feel like, oh my gosh, like all these palettes are sitting at home and I'm using this one again. It's not like that. I kind of just feel like, okay, this one gets its turn and then soon, like, I'm like, if I, <laughs> there was a point where like, the only way I would ever be able to use every single eyeshadow palette I had within a year is if I used it, like uh, if I use one palette every week one a new palette every week yeah a different palette every week and that was the only way I would be able to use every single palette I had in a in a year <laughs> I'm like that's insane that's bad <laughs> and so whatever so I'm very happy anyway it's just making makeup a lot more fun um then last but not well not last but next I went I went in with a deeper brown it's the shade Canyon um is this the Alter Ego oh it's the Sahara wow that's funny there's the Canyon palette also um but we just went in with a deeper brown because I wanted something a little bit deeper in the outer corner and again, you just focus that kind of right on the outside. I don't blend it as high because I feel like, you know, it just it just adds a little bit of dimension, like adds depth, then you have a little bit deeper, then you have the, the crease shade, you know? I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. So stunning. Okay, and then before I blend it out again, I went in with the shade Mirage, this beautiful shimmer right here. I'm like, oh my gosh, so stunning. It's like my favorite kind of shimmer. This is like a little bit like champagne-y, a hint of pink but like it's not pink you could see it's more neutral champagne -y kind of vibe um and it's stunning so pretty and then the colors just blend so beautifully i love love it so then i'm gonna go with my original brush and just kind of blend everything together I always think this step is a necessity 
so freaking pretty. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. And this palette, again, is so affordable. And there's so many different color schemes. If you're looking for, like, you know, if you want to try those, like, famous high-end uh, palettes and you're like, but I don't know if I'll like the color scheme or something like that, um... The alter ego dupes so many of them that it's like you don't even have to buy the the full the other <laughs> the original because alter ego does the dupes so perfectly in my opinion okay i'm just gonna pop on a long setting while well, long wearing setting spray this is the um um, this is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Long Wear Setting Spray. I just like to put on something that I know is going to hold my makeup exactly the way it is for as long as possible. Hard Candy is so good. I just wish that they had their products at Target and Ulta, and I would definitely have so much more because I hate Walmart. But if you're someone who will who will risk Walmart or like buy it on Hard Candy website, um, the setting sprays are so good, and Hard Candy has such amazing products. They're so affordable. I just love the way it looks. <laughs> Everything about right now, I just love the way my whole makeup looks. Um, but that setting spray again, it just really just sets your makeup the way it is, and it doesn't add much of anything. You know, like it's not gonna add glow or like it's not gonna dry out your makeup or make it you know mad I feel like it really just sets and makes your makeup last a little bit longer in my opinion okay for mascara we're gonna go with the L'Oreal telescopic lift mascara um I did not like this uh I did not like this when I first tried it but then I recently tried it um again and I really did like it a lot <laughs> and so we're gonna give it another go I mean I've tried it a few times okay I've tried it at least five times, six times, you know, like close to 10 times probably since I got it. I don't know. What? That sounds so insane. <sighs> I've used it a bunch of times since I got it, I should say. But I feel like um, I always get like a mixed result. Sometimes I hate it. Sometimes I love it. But like the last time I used it, I loved it. And so we're going to give her another go because right now it's the only drugstore mascara I have. But I feel like drug drugstore... The Essence Lash Princess, it's like, why do you need anything else? <laughs> L'Oreal also has some other amazing mascaras. Like, the Lash Princess is a good one. Like, I mean, wow, the Lash Princess, the L'Oreal. What the heck? It's something princess, I feel like. I don't know. L'Oreal has some other mascaras. Like, there's plenty of brands with good mascaras. Um, I always think Essence is the queen of mas drugstore mascara. But it just depends on what you're um, looking for. This one ends up always looking... Okay, this one <laughs> today is ending up looking so good. So it is a really good option if you're... Um, looking for it I think you have to let it dry out a little bit though like when I first used it it was just not my favorite and so I feel like once it dries out a little bit it gets a little bit clumpier I feel like it looks prettier because it dries faster on the lashes so it holds your lashes like up and then it ends up looking so stunning um it's just so pretty so stunning it kind of gives like a false lash kind of vibe like a smaller false lash but definitely it's false wow false lash kind of vibe so pretty okay next I'm gonna I made a mistake okay so I'm gonna go in with the <laughs> NYX um natural the lip pencil in the shade natural it's just like a pencil lip I also have the Milani understatement lip liner in the shade 110 and nude Entr entrance nude entrance I don't know I've had this for so long look at all that stuff that is too much um anyway um I had a lip, another lip product that I was going to wear, just depending. I brought two. The one that I have, though, is a little bit rosier, so I'll show you in a second. But this lip liner is literally like your lips, but better. But it, like, perfects your lips, and I, list, I think it's so pretty. Um, a very natural shade. And I feel like when a look is, like, your eye focus, or, like, your eyes look so bold or whatever... You don't want your lip to be super bold or overpowering. I mean, a red lip, a lip might look good with this, but um, it just depends on what you're looking for. I always like a good clear gloss, and like NYX has them, any of them have them, but I just didn't bring that many options. But I did bring the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Hits News. Again, I had a few options. Yes, like when I, whatever, I, I left them. But this one is gorgeous. I love these freaking ColourPop glosses. I honestly should get more shades. I just have, this shade is a little bit more mauve. And so I don't know how it's going to look. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> I just wasn't sure how it's going to look with this um, eye look. But honestly, it's giving a little bit more neutral than it is mauve -y, So that's good. Okay. Stunning. So gorgeous. I do love this formula. I just was scared about the color, but it ends up looking so gorgeous. It's a little bit more cooler, and then the eye look is a little bit warmer, so that's why I feel like it was just gonna 
clash a little bit, but I feel like it's fine, right? Okay, we're gonna let it happen. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is it. This is the finished look. I'm so excited. Um, I love these products and I cannot wait. I mean, like, I cannot wait for fall. Obviously, we're in fall, but I just, like, cannot wait until I'm doing stuff in fall. November, I have a lot of stuff planned for, like, um, you know, just different things planned. And so, I'm like, I can't wait to get out and get into the fall looks and that kind of stuff because it's just so much fun and so gorgeous. Um, right now, I'm not doing much of anything. <laughs> and so, I just wear this makeup for, like, filming and then, you know, the rest of the day and then that's it. But, um, anyway... <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> let me know if you're recreating this look, if you've tried any of these products. Oh my gosh, let me find a scripture. So the scripture for today is Romans 8, 11. Let me make sure. <laughs> yes, Romans 8, 11. Um, I pulled up the message version just because I feel like sometimes it gets um, the point across a little bit easier. But there are plenty of versions if you like a different version. Um, but for right now, we have the message. It says... Um, when God lives and breathes in you, and he does, as surely as he did in Jesus, you are delivered from that dead life. With his spirit living in you, your body will be as alive as Christ. And I just, I, that's such a good one because it's like, you know, once you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you accept the Holy Spirit in your life, you're, you're living, you know, you're truly living for the right reason and you're truly living. And so I just, I love that. Anyway, guys, <laughs> that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.